In baseball, it would be considered a great day to go five for five from the batter's box. So the question today is, how can you go five for five from the bunker? Well, I'll answer that question with five key thoughts next on Winning Golf. All right, everybody, time for some Winning Golf. Winning Golf. Look at that spot. What we play. In the hole. Working on that short game each and every day. I'm near the green again. That's where the action all begins. With winning golf, everybody wins. Hey, Green. Winning golf, making that wedge stop on a dime. Getting that bunker shot up close every single time. That's a line. Back in my stance, making it in. Winning Golf is brought to you by SAP. SAP, the best run businesses run SAP. Hi everyone and welcome to another exciting week of Winning Golf where everybody wins and today I am thrilled to welcome a group from one of the top moving companies in the area, Two Men and a Truck. A little later in the show, our host Dale Kilgariff will lead his team through five rounds of short game competition in the Cleveland Golf Skills Challenge. Of course, our champion will get the pitch from only 90 feet for the chance to win a brand new Infinity JX. You won't want to miss that. And for my instruction, I'll focus on the five most common mistakes made in the bunker. But first, before we get to all that excitement, let's take a tour around today's host facility, the beautiful and challenging White Clay Creek Country Club. One thing is for sure, it's easy to spend a full day at White Clay Creek Country Club. The spring this year, we're off to a fantastic start here at White Clay Creek Country Club at Delaware Park. Um, memberships here, they're, they're very ver uh, flexible for you. We have different types of memberships, whether it be an individual, a married couple, a corporate membership, a junior membership. And it's basically kind of like a, a declining balance where you use the money uh, for greens fees, lessons, merchandise, or food and beverage. So it's a win-win situation here for any member looking to join. You can begin your day with a wonderful round of golf, follow that up with a delicious meal in the famous Rail Wine Bar and Grill. And if you weren't so lucky earlier on the golf course, you can trot next door and try your luck at Delaware Park. White Clay Creek Country Club, a public facility with a private mentality, is known throughout the area as a terrific venue for food, golf, banquets, wedding receptions, and corporate meetings. The banquet team provides unique catering packages and would love to be part of your wedding reception, employee gathering, or any other occasion you choose to celebrate. So we entertain clients and uh, some of our other centers of influence here. The restaurant is wonderful. We never have to worry about having professional service or having a great meal, so it's a wonderful facility to bring people to. The golf operation is truly special and includes a well-stocked golf shop, a practice facility second to none, a professional and service-oriented staff, and a golf course that is always in pristine condition. The Arthur Hills design course is challenging and demands superior course management, with water entering the picture on 15 of the 18 holes. Although reaching 7,000 yards from the tips and earning a 140 slope rating, White Clay Creek offers five sets of tees, which allow players at any level to enjoy their experience. With a variety of holes, impeccable conditions from tee to green, and nature surrounding you at every turn, it's a golf course that brings you back time and time again. Another special feature that separates White Clay Creek from most venues is its remarkable practice facility. White Clay Creek provides a 60,000 square foot natural bent grass tee box, a 7,500 square foot bent grass putting green, and two separate 5,000 square foot short game greens, all in mint condition. We uh, offer some private lessons. In addition, we have some junior camps. Um, we have our traditional three half day camps, one full day camp, and new this year, we're doing a uh, tour championship camp that gives the uh, advanced golfers uh, more playing time and more advanced teaching. We also, the best part about out here is our practice facility. We can go on turf, we have our new renovated mats, and also we have short game area and putting green. And uh, with our private lessons, we can go indoors, outdoors, and we can really teach the, the customer what they want to really learn. Speaking of improving your game, 
let the professional staff assist you through private lessons or its popular golf academy. Besides the spacious outdoor practice facility, White Clay Creek also provides an indoor training facility with amenities that include a state-of-the-art V1 swing analysis system, a launch monitor, and a 65-inch screen for a crystal clear view of your swing. White Clay Creek is easily accessible from I-95. Just look for the Churchman's Road exit. From there, just follow signs for Delaware Park. For more information on tee times, membership packages, golf outings, weddings, or banquets, check out the website at www.whiteclaycreekcc.com or call area code 302-994-6700. Now it's time to check out what's on the tee with PGA professional Doug Hendricks. On the tee today, I would like to discuss the delicate chip shot. Now a delicate chip shot is one where there's very little green to work with. In other words, the pin is very close to the edge of the green. For this shot, I need a little extra feel and perfect contact with the ball. To do that, I have two adjustments in my short game. Number one is I choke down on my club all the way down to the shaft. This allows me to feel the club head at the bottom. It also allows me to accelerate through the shot so I don't leave my ball here in the high grass. Number two is my stance. For all chip shots, I narrow my stance, but for the delicate chip shot, my feet are almost touching. They're right next to each other. Let me try and put these two adjustments into action. Choking down on the club, a very narrow stance, and here we go. Sometimes little shots need little adjustments. When you have a delicate chip shot, make sure you choke down on that grip right to the shaft and narrow that stance. I'll see you next week on the tee. And now it's time for the Cleveland Golf Skills Challenge, brought to you by Cleveland Golf. Cleveland Golf, where scoring matters. Now let's meet our competitors. Ben Horton, Brian Fry, Paul Rechenberg, Mike Loftus, Mike Ackerman, Mike Cole, Dale Kilgariff, Steve Ledden, J.C. Calderon, Kurt Rechenberg. Well, Dale Kilgariff, thank you for serving as our host today. And Dale, we got a great day here at White Clay Creek, a fun group, and it looks like they're ready to win some wonderful prizes. Yeah, Doug, thanks for having us all out here today with two men in a truck at uh, White Clay Creek in uh, Delaware. You know, guys are excited. We got some good golfers here today, so we're very excited. You guys ready? Yeah! All right, let's do it. All right, guys, how about if we start with a fun putting contest? Yeah! All right, good. All right, here's the deal. In a couple seconds, our host, Dale, is going to pull two names out of the hat. Those two players will then have 20 seconds to make a 15-foot putt. The first one that makes it wins a prize. The prize? How about a gift certificate to Limoncello's Restaurante in Westchester, Pennsylvania? A great facility, great beverage, great food, and great atmosphere. So, Dale, how about two names out of that hat? Who are lucky contestants? Myself. <laughs> it is Ben Horton and Brian Fries. Okay, Woo! guys. Right. Let's go make a putt. We are on the pristine practice green here at White Clay Creek Country Club. Brian Fry and Ben Horton will have 20 seconds to make a 15-foot putt. The first one in wins the prize. Ready, guys? Three, two, one, go. 20 seconds to make this. 15 feet uphill, keep firing away, 10 seconds, time for one more pitch, it's a hole, yeah. and Ben Horton is our winner in the putting contest, and he'll go to Limoncello's Restaurante. Coming up, Doug gives us some winning golf tips, plus one of our contestants will pitch for a new Infinity JX, when winning golf brought to you by SAP returns. It should feel powerful, invincible, effortless. It should erase doubt and replace it with swagger. It should feel unleashed, light, fast, 
and explosive. On the edge yet completely under control, dialed in, ultimately unstoppable, it should feel like victory. This is how a driver should feel. Gather with friends and make it a party at PJ's. With fresh cocktails and a great selection of local craft beer. Order up our famous buffalo wings. Flavored in your choice of seven signature sauces. Philly's number one sports fans catch every game at PJ Willahan. Where every seat is the best seat in the house. Find a location near your neighborhood. Visit PJsPub.com. Prizes and tea gifts for the Cleveland Golf Skills Challenge provided by Sun Mountain Golf Bags. Sun Mountain, ahead of time design. See more putters. Hide the red dot. See more. The Winston Collection, creating signature leather products for the finest golf clubs in the world. And by P.J. Wheelahan's Pub and Restaurant. Visit one of our restaurants and make it a party at P.J.'s. Doug Hendricks' wardrobe provided by the Greg Norman Collection. Greg Norman, performance by design. When you get extra distance out of your irons, with more forgiveness and precision, it's a beautiful thing. Everybody wins. Welcome back to Winning Golf. Gentlemen, I'm holding a gift certificate to one of my favorite courses in the area, Radley Run Country Club. And I'd love to give it to the player who hits the best chip shot here in round one. So guys, are you ready to chip for some golf? Yeah! Boy, are these guys ready. So let's start round one of the Cleveland Golf Skills Challenge. The beautiful practice facility at White Clay Creek is the venue for this week's Cleveland Golf Skills Challenge. First, it's four preliminary rounds of short game shots for our players. In these rounds, they can earn some great prizes, as well as extra shots in our decisive final test, which we call the Survivor Round. Our top two finishers in the Survivor round will compete in an up and in competition to determine this week's champion. A 90 foot chip shot with a right to left break will start us off and JC Calderon sets the stage with his effort. A nice effort by JC Calderon. Nice. Mike Loftus shows some touch with this chip to about nine feet. And look at that touch by Mike Loftus. Well done, Mike. Good job, buddy. But Ben Horton claims the prize with a nice chip to just under seven feet. Ben Horton with a beautiful stroke using a nine iron. And look at this shot, guys. Well done, Ben. Horton's our first round prize winner. Round two features a pitch from the heavy rough that Paul Retchenberg attacked. With a beautiful soft wedge below the hole. Well done, Paul. Kurt Retchenberg outdoes Paul with this shot to about 10 feet. Look at this shot, guys. Well done, Kurt Retchenberg. Now watch Steve Ledden steal the round with this tremendous shot. And this is coming towards the hole. And look at this effort by Steve Ledden. What a touch. Well done, Steve. He's three and a half feet away, and he takes the prize. Gentlemen, whoever hits the best pitch shot here in round three will win this beautiful Footjoy wind shirt. So guys, are your wedges ready? Yeah! They look ready and sound ready. So let's get round three underway. Up next is a 25-yard uphill pitch from a tight lie. Mike Ackerman tries to claim the round with this pitch to four and a half feet. Well done by Mike Ackerman. But Mike Cole makes a great golf shot with this pitch to two feet four inches. What a touch by Mike Cole. He takes the round. Our final preliminary round tests the putting skills with this 30-footer that Brian Fry had no trouble with. You're very still over that golf ball, right to left, and look at this stroke right below the cup. Well done by Brian Fry. J.C. Calderon makes a good run at with it. His eyes over the golf ball, and a beautiful stroke coming right to left, and look at this putt right next to the cup. Well done, J.C. Kurt Retchenberg steps it up again with this putt to 11 inches. What a challenging green here at White Clay, and boy, that's sitting right next to the hole. Well done, Kurt. Steve Ledden coaxes his ball just inside of that with this effort to 10 inches. And look at this effort by Steve Ledden. But Mike Loftus says, hold on a minute, as he tries to steal the round. This speed looks good, and it's in the hole. And he drains it. Loftus wins the round and the prize. Will he keep the hot hand in our survivor round? 
We'll find out right after Doug takes us to short game school. Gentlemen, for today's lesson, I'm going to give you a five for one deal in the bunker. That means in a couple seconds, I'm gonna give you the five most common mistakes made in a bunker shot. If you fix these five things, in other words, if you go five for five, your ball should get up on the green every single time. Mistake number one, not opening the club face correctly. Many players grip the club and then roll their wrist to open the face. What happens on the downswing is your wrist will rotate again or roll back and your club face will either square up or close. Very difficult to get it out. The secret, open the club face first, then grip the club. Number two is not turning. Many players read golf articles about lifting the club up in the air and swinging it across the golf ball. As they wind up doing, they lift with their arms. They forget to turn. You need to create club head speed in the bunker, so make sure you turn. Number three is looking at the wrong spot. Now, nine out of 10 of my students understand they gotta hit two inches behind the golf ball. But many of those same students in the bunker before their shot are looking at the ball rather than the spot. You have to have your eyes focused two inches behind the ball if you want to hit that spot. Number four is your angle of attack. Most players understand you have to hit down into the sand. What many players don't get is you also have to swing through the sand. So a bunker shot is actually a shallow angle of attack hitting the sand, not a steep one. I want to come through the sand. I want to skin the sand. I don't want to dig into the sand. And finally, number five, is not finishing the shot. And I understand from a teaching standpoint, when you're this close to your target, mentally it's hard to take a full swing. But remember, we're opening our club face, we're swinging across the target line, plus the sand acts as a resistance to the club head speed. So you have to accelerate and you have to finish if you want to get onto the green. Guys, any questions? No. Terrific. Well, I'd love to bring up somebody here to help us out with this tip. Kurt Retschenberg, would you help out, please? Yeah. Kurt? Thank you, Doug. Kurt, come on in here, pal. Let's set up to this golf ball here. Now, the first thing, let's show how to properly grip that club. Open the face first. Okay. Open the face first. There. Yep. And now, okay, now grip now the club. Down. Excellent. All right. Now, I want you to think about turning. Okay. I want your eyes to be focused on a spot about two inches behind the golf ball. Okay. Okay. I want you to picture an angle of attack that is shallow, not steep. Sure. And when you're done, I'd love for you to face that target. So would I, Doug. All right. Let's see what happens. Oh, look at this shot, guys. Oh, Boy, shot. look at that finish. That's Thank a you. tremendous golf shot. Well Thank done. Thank you very I, much. I think Kirk just went five for five. Thank you so much for that tip, Doug. You're welcome. And now we narrow our field down to two survivors in our final round. Players who've won previous rounds have extra shots to try to get it closest to the cup. Only the top two finishers will advance. And this week, we're challenging them with a 20-yard uphill pitch shot out of the rough. Mike Cole eyes the final playoff with this shot to about eight feet. Looks like pin high, just below the hole. Good effort by Mike Cole. Brian Fry is a couple of feet better with his pitch to six and a half feet. This is right below the hole. What a touch by Brian Fry. Ben Horton attempts to separate the men from the boys with his effort to just under five feet. Check out this pitch by Steve Ledden left to right and this could go in the hole. He's two and a half feet away and looks like a lock for the final. But not so fast, says Dale Kilgariff. Boy, this is going right. It's enough to get to the hole. Look at that shot. He rolls it to one foot ten inches from the cup to take a spot in the final. Can Mike Ackerman jump ahead of Ledden and into the final with his pitch? Mike Ackerman with his sandwich out of the heavy rough. And boy, this looks great. Right close to the hole. Wow. He's in the final at just a foot away. So it'll be Ackerman and Kilgariff battling it out in our SAP playoff. Which one will pitch for a new Infinity JX? We'll find out when Winning Golf, brought to you by SAP, continues. Woo!
Prizes for winning golf contestants provided by Proforma Industries, your one source for promotional products, printing services, and e-commerce solutions. Skills training aids and golf fitness products. Skills, be an athlete, become a player. Golf Fuel, the product that fuels your game. Puka Headwear, the industry's number one source for fully custom headwear. Be original. Puka. Outerwear provided by FootJoy. Whether it's cool, rainy, or windy, make every day playable with FootJoy. On the 18th hole at Abu Dhabi, I had about 275 to the front of the green and about 300 to the flag, and the wind was not helping, was slightly off the left. And I, I've been told afterwards that the reporter said that, uh, why is he trying to go for this? He can't reach it. And I actually hit it and it pitched on the 18th green, and, and I was very happy with it. I know it's a lot of different materials in the XTD. The velocity slot on the crown and the bottom of the club definitely helps me to get more yardage. I'm Robert Carlson. If you don't have a fairway wood with the velocity slots, you are at a disadvantage. you be driving an Infinity? Infinity of Ardmore and Infinity of Westchester. Come in today to test drive the all-new Infinity 7-passenger JX. Affordable luxury you deserve. It's time now for the SAP Up and In Playoff on Winning Golf. Welcome back to Winning Golf and the exciting SAP Up and In Playoff, which will decide this week's champion. I'm standing with our two finalists, guys. Terrific job today. Thanks, Doug. Thanks, Doug. Day. Great day. It has been a fun day. And Mike, let me start with you. You finished first in the Survivor round, which means you'll get the choice of going first or second here in the SAP Playoff. What's your decision and why? Well, after careful thought, I've decided to go first. Okay. Just to put a little heat on Dale. All right, Dale, Mike wants to put a little heat on you, which means you'll get to go second and see the line. How do you feel about that? I feel great about going second. It gives me a little bit extra time to rest and uh, cool off a little bit <laughs> for the heat he's putting on me. Good luck, Mike. <laughs> Good luck, Dale. Well, this should be a great finish. Now, remember, we're playing an up and in format, which means whoever gets their ball into the cup in the fewest number of strokes is our champion. Guys, good luck to both of you. Hey, thanks, Doug. Thanks. Well, we're down to two, and for our finalists, it's up and in for a bunch of prizes, a slot in the winning golf championship, and a chance to pitch for a brand new Infinity JX. Our first shot in the SAP playoff will be a 35-yard pitch shot from the fairway. Mike Ackerman will have the honors. Mike is a chiropractor in Broomall, carries a seven handicap, and plays most of his golf at Back Creek. Mike will have to lift it up over the bunker and over the rough, and he'll have a right to left shot from there, and he brings it in high. It's coming a little bit deep. It should be just off the fringe here. Not a bad shot, and not far from the hole by Dr. Ackerman. And now it's Dale Kilgariff's turn to try and perform some magic around the putting green here at White Clay Creek. Dale is a president of two men in a truck in the Philadelphia region, has a 20 handicap, and plays most of his golf at Penn Oaks. He's bringing in low. He's trying to run it, but it's going to stay on the front edge of the green. All right, Dale has about 40 feet right to left. Oh, he's got the line. Now it's going to come down to the speed. It's a beautiful stroke. This is going right at, look at this putt by Dale, about five feet from the hole. All right, Mike Ackerman is just off the green here in the heavy rough. He has about 20 feet. He's got a wedge in his hand. And he pops it up nice and soft, going right at it in the hole. Oh, just off the pin. And what a great chip shot by Mike Ackerman. Wow. With Mike Ackerman very close, he will need to make this putt. Maybe left center of the cup. Good setup, good stroke, and here it comes. Oh, it just slips out. This is for a three by Mike Ackerman. And Mike Ackerman is our champion here at White Clay Creek Country Club. Well done. Well, Mike Ackerman, congratulations for being the champion here at White Clay Creek Country Club. Well done today. Thank you very much. It was a great day. And uh, that last shot was very lucky. It was buried. 
Well, Mike, you hit the pin in that survivor round. Now, we hope you roll one into the cup here in the champion's pitch, because if you do, you get to go home today with a brand new Infinity JX. Well, that is one beautiful car. And if I can get lucky enough, I'm sure my wife would enjoy driving it. Well, I've got a good feeling about this next shot, so don't touch that remote. We'll be right back with more winning golf. Up next, we try to give away a new Infinity JX on our Infinity Champions pitch. Winning golf brought to you by SAP. We'll be right back. Shouldn't you be driving an Infinity? Infinity of Ardmore and Infinity of Westchester. Come in today to test drive the all-new Infinity 7-passenger JX. Affordable luxury you deserve. This year at Kapalua, it was the first week I had it in the bag. I had the second shot on the ninth hole, par five there, uphill, into the wind, out of the left, and I hit this nice, strong fade three-wood, which with my old three-wood, it would have come up short. And this one flew far enough, got to the green, had about a 15-footer for eagle. With the trampoline effect, it definitely helps the three-wood be hotter, but not only that, it makes it more forgiving. I'm Aaron Badley, and I play the new Adams Speedline Fast 12 three-wood. Enjoy one-of-a-kind hospitality at the Desmond Hotel Malvern, a full-service hotel with a staff focused on providing exceptional customer service. It's no wonder our guests say the Desmond Hotel is the best part of traveling. This summer, visit the Sunset Grill at the Desmond. Succulent main lobster, live music, and special cocktails. Come see why we're consistently voted the best outdoor dining in Chester County. If it's important to you, trust it to us at the Desmond. Question, could a tour ball actually hurt your game? Answer, absolutely. If you're above a 10 handicap, a lot of the extra spin you're getting from a tour ball is side spin. So you'll be playing your second shot from here, or here, or here. Wouldn't you rather be here? The answer is Q-Star from Strixot. Engineered for less spin off the tee and more control from fairway to green. Question your ball. Q-Star is the answer. It's time now on Winning Golf for the Infinity Champions Pitch. You'll soon see why we're Infinity and beyond. Welcome back to Winning Golf for our final event, the Champions Pitch. Each week our champion will attempt to hole out from 90 feet to win an amazing brand new Infinity JX. Winning Golf is thrilled to have two awesome dealerships, Infinity of Ardmore and Infinity of Westchester, sponsoring this exciting event. So let me set the stage. We are on the beautiful practice green at White Clay Creek Country Club. Our champion, Mike Ackerman, is 90 feet away. If he can hit the pitch shot of his life, he will drive home in the number one crossover on the road today, the Infinity JX. Well, we'd all love to see him make this. And then here it comes. Oh, he's gonna get it to the hole. And that's a great effort by our champion here at White Clay Creek, Mike Ackerman. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's show from beautiful White Clay Creek Country Club. The staff here at White Clay Creek provides amazing service and the golf course is in mint condition. You definitely want to check this place out. Also like to thank our host Dale Kogara for a day full of fun, lots of laughs, great camaraderie and plenty of winning golf highlights. And isn't that what it's all about? Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all next week. Winning Golf is brought to you by SAP. SAP, the best run businesses run SAP. Everybody wins.